It is today the best antibiotic that is made as good in Afghanistan and Iraq. The American army uses this water, one atom per hundred million, to kill all the germs in a wound. So the President of the United States uses this water to keep uh, infectious uh, bugs from his hand. So I said, how can this water be? As it records information, water acquires new properties, yet its chemical composition remains unchanged. So their theory was the chemical composition of the water is important. Now the sensational news is that that is nonsense. The structure of water is much more important than the chemical composition. The structure of water means how its molecules are organized. We can see how water molecules join together into groups. These are called clusters. Scientists came up with the idea that these clusters work as memory cells of a certain sort in which water records the whole history of its relationship with the world as if on magnetic tape. People don't think when you turn on the light the water is changing. When you turn on the electric field from the power lines the water may change. So that is the direction of research. The water of course remains water but its structure like a nervous system reacts to any irritation Modern instruments have made it possible to record the fact that within each of water's memory cells there are 440,000 information panels, each of which is responsible for its own type of interaction with the environment. If you consider a cluster as a group of specific molecules, um, then it can survive only a short amount of time. But if you consider it as a structure whereby molecules can leave and other molecules come in, the cluster can last effectively for a very long time. The stability of the cluster structures confirm the hypothesis that water is capable of recording and storing information. It may be the single most malleable computer which can, that it's like a computer memory. It's the memory of information. You must know how it is arranged. It is like the alphabet. If I give you the alphabet, you don't know a word, you don't know a letter, you don't know a sentence. So the molecular structure is the alphabet of water. And you must make a sentence out of water and you can change the sentence. In the winter of 1881, the sailing ship Laura was on a course from Liverpool to San Francisco. On the third day of the voyage, a fire broke out on board. Among those abandoning ship was the captain, Neil Carey. The water supply soon ran out, and the crew experienced the torments of thirst growing by the hour. Later, when they reached shore safely after three terrible weeks adrift at sea, the captain, a man with a very level-headed attitude towards events described what had saved them. We were dreaming of fresh water, he said. We began to imagine that the water around the lifeboat was turning from ocean blue to the greenish hue of fresh water. I summoned up my strength and scooped some up. When I tasted it, the water was fresh. Well, take a famous event, when Jesus Christ turned water into wine. He didn't add some sugar or lactose, but he imparted an absolutely special property to the water. We have carried out many experiments on the effect that quite diverse factors have on samples of water. Magnetic fields, electrical fields, various objects and also including a human presence and human emotions. 
and it became clear that positive and negative human emotions are the strongest element of influence. Professor Korotkov's laboratory has conducted numerous experiments on the effect of human emotions on water. A group of people were asked to project onto a flask of water in front of them very positive emotions like love, tenderness, and concern. Then, the flask was replaced with another one, and the people were asked to project emotions of a different type. Fear, aggression, hatred. After this, measurements were taken on the samples. The water exhibited changes that were clearly in one direction or another. So love increases water's energy levels and stabilizes the water, while aggressive emotions reduce the energy and make radical changes in the water. I hope to show people through my research that water has a memory of its own. Dr. Emoto's laboratory does research on water samples, which are subjected to various forms of outside influence. The impressions made upon the water are recorded by swiftly freezing it in a cryogenic chamber. This is what water heated in a microwave oven looks like. This is the effect of a mobile telephone. Somebody said thank you to this water. Excuse me. You disgust me. With modern technology, it is possible to structurize water artificially. When seeds were grown under laboratory conditions using this kind of water, the soy sprouts had six times greater photon radiation than when ordinary water was used. Using structurized water makes vegetables ripen faster and increases the amount of useful microelements and vegetable proteins several fold. If we look at the shoots, the treated ones were long, even, and strong, while the untreated ones were short, thin, and weak. If we look at the plants today, those from the selected seeds have all ripened, but the ones from non-selected seeds have not. We have to say that using structurized water really does affect the growth of vegetables and fruits. For the purposes of irrigation, 20% less of this type of water is needed than when using ordinary water. No fertilizer was added to the soil or the water. The chemical composition remained the same, H2O. The only thing that had changed was its